Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to customize a page inside a Blogger website using CSS. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you the theme that I'm using. So if you go back to the Blogger dashboard and if you go over here to theme, you can see that I'm using this theme called Essential Light, which comes by default with Blogger. So if you scroll down, we can see that essential theme is displayed over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove every element from a page inside our blogger website and then we're going to add our custom design to that. So first of all let's go over here to pages and let's create a new page and I'll just add some random title over here. So I'll just type new feature and here I'll just type testing and let's click on publish and confirm and now let's open our page so let's click on view and this is how our page looks right now. We have testing displayed over here. But we have all the other elements over here like the title of the page. We have the header over here and then we have the comments. And then we also have this popular post over here and also the footer. So we want to remove all these other extra elements from here and we just need to have this testing displayed over here. So for that we can use CSS and hide all the elements that we don't want. But before that let's create a simple design to add to our page. So for that I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. And I have opened up a folder called under construction in VS Code. So we're just going to create a simple under construction design for our page. And I also have this folder called images and in that we have this image which we're going to use in our design. So I'll just quickly create this design. So I'll just create an HTML file. And I'll also create a CSS file. And let's start with the HTML file. Now in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And I'll just link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and uh, here in the href I'll just type style.css. And I'll just create some basic markup. First of all, I'll just create a division with the class of my container to hold everything. And in that we'll have a heading. And uh, in the heading I'll just type under construction. And after that we'll have a paragraph. And we'll also give it a class of subheading. And here we'll just type we are working on this feature stay tuned and we'll be back soon and I'll just create one more line so for that I'll just have a BR tag over here and then here I'll just type click here to go to the home page and we'll make this word here a link so for that I'll just type a and press tab and in the href we can just add the link of the home page I'll just type hash for now and I'll just cut this from here and paste it after here and I'll also add an image. So for that I'll just create a division with the class of image container. And in that we'll have the image. So I'll just type img and in the src I'll just type images slash under construction dot png. Right now I'll just open this in our browser. And this is how it looks right now. So let's add some CSS. And let's go to the style.css file. And first of all let's set the margin of the body to zero. And uh, let's add a font family of Roboto. And I'll also add a background color of linear gradient. So I'll just type background linear gradient and I'll just set it to 90 degrees. And the first color will be EEFDFA and we will set it to 0%. And for the next color we will have a white color and we'll set it to 100%. So this is how it looks right now. Now let's style the my container division. So let's type my container and we will have a max width of 900 pixels for this and we'll also bring it to the center by typing margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right and we'll have some margin to the top so let's type margin top and I'll just set it to 100 pixels and let's align everything to the center so I'll just type text align and we'll just type center over here right now let's style this heading so let's type my container h1 and we'll just set the font size to 60 pixels and we will set text transform to uppercase and let's set the font weight to 900 and we'll also set the color of the text to E71828 and we'll also remove the margins from this heading so I'll just type margin 0 right now let's style this paragraph so let's type my container p dot subheading because we have a class of subheading for the paragraph and for the paragraph I'll just set a font size of 20 pixels and we'll just set the line height to 170%. So this is how our design looks right now. Now let's add this design to our page. 
So let's start by hiding all the elements that we don't need. First of all, we will hide this popular post widget from here. So let's right click over here and go to inspect. And if we scroll up, we can see that uh, we have this widget and it has a class of popular post. And if you look at the right side, we can see that we have the selector over here. It is called main popular post. And here if I just type display of none. And if you take a look at the page, we can see that the popular post is hidden. So we have to add this CSS to our page. So first of all, we have to copy this selector. So I'll just click over here and copy this. And let's go to our page. So let's open this page. And I'll just remove testing from here. And first of all, you have to make sure that you are in the HTML view. So just click on this button and go to the HTML view. And I'll just create a style tag over here to add all the CSS. And I'll just close it over here. Right here, we'll paste our selector. And here, I'll just type display of none. And I'll just click on update. And now if you go back to our page and if we refresh this page, we can see that the popular post is not being displayed over here. Now in the same way, you have to hide all the other elements. So let's right click over here in the footer and go to inspect. And here we can see we have this footer. And if you go over here to the right, we have this selector over here, page body, and then we have centered and footer. So I just select this and I'll just copy this. And here also we can just type display of none. Now we are adding display of none over here in the inspector just to test whether it is working over here. And if it works, we can just copy this selector and add it to our page. So here I'll just add a comma and I'll just paste it over here. All right now let's go back and uh, let's see what else we need to hide. And let's scroll up and uh, let's go inside the blog widget. And uh, inside that we have all these elements. All right now here you can see we have this section with an ID of comments. So here we can see we have the selector. And uh, if I just type display of none over here, we can see that the comments are hidden. So I'll just copy this. And I'll just paste it over here. I'll just add a comma and paste it over here. And if you open this post outer division and post, we can see we have post bottom and post header. So we have to delete these two elements as well. So I will just select this and uh, here we can see we have the selector and even for the post header here we can see we have the selector so I'll just type display of none and I'll just copy this and paste it over here and then we have post header so I'll just set display of none and I'll just copy this and add it over here and then we have the share button so if I go over here we can see that we have this selector so I'll just type display of none and I'll just copy this and we'll just paste it over here. And then we have the post title. So I'll just select this and I'll just copy this. And here also I'll just type display of none and I'll just paste it over here. And now let's scroll up and here we can see we have the centered top container. So here we have the selector. I'll just add display of none over here and I'll just copy this selector and I'll just paste it in our page and if we scroll up we can see that there are some more elements like BG photo overlay and BG photo container so we'll hide them as well so I'll just copy this selector and paste it over here and also the other selector and I'll just paste it over here now there are some more elements we need to hide and we also need to change the margin and padding of some of the elements. But right now we cannot see anything so let's add our design and then let's continue our customization. So I'll just go outside this style tag and let's go to our HTML and I'll just copy everything inside the body and I'll just add it over here. Now in our blogger website we don't have this folder called images so this image won't be displayed. So for that we have to insert the image inside our blogger page. So here I'll just make some space and let's click on this button called insert image and upload from computer. And let's click on choose files. And I'll just select this image and click on open. And let's select this and click on select. And let's click on original size and OK. And here we can see we have the link of our image. So I'll just copy this link. And I'll just paste it over here. 
and now let's click on update and let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page and here we can see all the elements in our design are displayed over here and now we can see there are some more elements we need to hide so here we can see we have this header so let's right click over here and go to inspect and if we scroll up here we can see we have this uh, selector collapsed header centered top placeholder so here I'll just type display of none and now we can see that the header is not being displayed so I'll just copy this selector and let's go back to our page and uh, I'll just paste it over here alright I think that's it with all the elements that we need to hide now let's click on update and let's go back and refresh this page and we can see we don't have any issues now let's remove the margin and padding of some of the elements so that we have the full screen to add our design and we also have multiple images over here so I'll just remove this image so let's go back and I'll just delete this from here and let's click on update right now let's right click over here and go to inspect and let's see in which elements we have padding and margin so let's start with the post body and here we can see for the post body we have some margin at the top so this is the margin so here if I just type margin 0 and now we cannot see the margin so I'll just copy this selector and let's go back to our page and here I'll just paste the selector and uh, here I'll just type margin 0 right now let's go to the parent element and uh, if we scroll up here we have the post and for the post we don't have any margin or padding so let's go to the post outer and even for that we don't have any margin or padding so let's go to the post outer container and for that we have some padding so we can see we have the green padding displayed over here so let's scroll up and uh, this is the selector so here I'll just type padding 0 and now we can see we don't have any padding so I just copy this selector and uh, let's go back and I just paste it over here and here we just type padding 0 and now let's go back and let's go one step above and we don't have any margin or padding over here as well so let's go to the widget and here we can see at the bottom we have some margin so let's copy the selector so here we can see we have the margin bottom so I'll just type margin 0 and now we don't have any margin so I'll just copy this selector and I'll just paste it over here I'll just add a comma and paste it over here and we also have a little bit of padding over here for the post outer so at the bottom we can see a little bit of padding and here we can see we have a padding bottom of 0.25 m so I'll just copy this selector as well and here I'll just type padding 0 and now we don't have any padding so I'll just copy this selector and paste it over here I'll just add a comma right now let's go to the parent element and we don't have any padding or margin let's go to the parent element of this and here also we don't have any padding or margin let's keep going and uh, here also we don't have any padding or margin let's go to the main section and here also we don't have any padding or margin let's go to the centered bottom and here we have some padding on the left and the right so if you scroll up here we can see we have this padding so we can just remove this padding from here and I'll just copy this I'll just copy this selector and let's go back and uh, paste it over here right now let's keep going up and uh, let's go to this div and for this also we don't have any padding let's go to the centered and here we can see we have some padding and we also have a max width set over here so we need to remove the padding and we also need to remove the max width from here so let's copy this and uh, let's paste it over here I'll just add a comma and paste it over here and we also need to unset the max width so I'll just paste it over here and here I'll just type max width unset now there are some more things we need to do so if you scroll down and if you go to the post body here we can see there is a default line height of 1.6 m so we have to remove this as well because we have added some custom line height in our CSS so let's remove this and we can see we have some changes so let's copy this selector and let's go back and here I'll just paste the selector and here I'll just type line height and unset and now the last thing we need to customize is uh, this background color over here and we also have some box shadow so I'll just right click over here and go to inspect and if you go over here to the post outer container 
we can see we have this background color over here and also this box shadow so we can just disable both of them and I just copy this selector and let's paste it over here and here I just type background unset and box shadow unset and now let's update this and let's go back to our page and refresh and now we can see everything looks all right so now we will add the CSS of our design so let's go back to our VS code and let's go to style.css and I'll just copy everything from here and we'll just paste it in our page and I'll just paste it over here and now let's click on update and let's go back and let's refresh this page and here we can see we have our custom design so that's how you can customize a page in a blogger website now you can use this same method and customize any other theme that you have in your blogger website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.